Bow our heads in a word of prayer. Dear every gracious Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ today, God. We thank you, Lord, for this day. For truly, this is the day you have made. We're going to truly be glad, God. We, and we ask you, Lord, to bless this marriage today. God, you'd watch over these couple, Lord, as they adventure God out to the world. That, Lord, you'd comfort them. Lord God, you'd be with them each and every step of the way. But, God, let this company here be a witness, God, that they would join in together, Lord, that that they would bound with each other and try to strengthen their marriage. And we ask you, Lord, once again, God, just go with them, God, throughout the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do, her father. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company, to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered to unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. And to this holy estate these two persons now present to come to be joined together. I require and charge you both as you will answer the dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you shall know any reason why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do not confess it. For be ye well assured that if any persons are joined together other than God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Charles, when I'll have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's holy ordinance and holy state of matrimony, Will thou love her, comfort her, honor, keep her in sickness and health? Forsaken all others, keep thee only to her so long as you both shall live. Gretchen, will thou have with this man to be thy wedded husband? To live together for God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony. Will thou serve him, love him, honor, and keep him in sickness and health? Forsaken all others, keep only to him so long as you both shall live.
Hi, Charles. Hi, Charles. Take the Gretchen. Take the Gretchen. Be my wedded wife. Be my wedded wife. Keep having to hold. Keep having to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, and poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For death do us part. Death do us part. According to God's. According to God's. Holy ordinance. Holy ordinance. And there too. There too. I pledge thee. I pledge thee. My faith. My faith. <coughs> Hi Gretchen. Take me Charles. Take me Charles. My wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. To love. To love. And cherish. To cherish. Till death do us apart. Till death do us apart. According to God's, according to God's holy ordinance, holy ordinance, and there too, and there too, I pledge thee, I pledge thee, my faith, my faith. Let us pray again. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, how will it be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O eternal God, creator, preserver of all mankind, giver and all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessings upon these servants, this man and this woman, who we bless in thy name, that they live in faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, for of this ring given and receive as a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, live according to thy laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Charles and Gretchen have consented together in holy wedlock, and witnessed the same before God into this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth to each other, and have declared by the same, by giving and receiving a ring, and by joining hands. I pronounce that they are man and wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Charles and Gretchen. represents a family and it takes a whole member of the family to keep it lit and if the candle burns out we as a family must work together to keep it lit together we will work through everything we will we were two families that were separate but now we are one the candle <laughs> represents our two families finally come together even though we've been together for eight years <laughs> nine years all right everyone's coming together we like it We tried. <laughs> 
Is it lighting? Someone's caught on fire. Wait, back up. I got it. It's good. Yay. A lot of wax everywhere. <laughs> Samantha's also included yes, in this. Yes, but I just didn't have enough. No. Congrats, sir. Thank you. Hi. Love you, honey. You look great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank Long time you. coming. And you'll find no better video than what I did. I mean, you almost could touch me, and most times I was in the video. Love you guys. Congratulations. <laughs>